Stage one tanks pressing to flight. T minus 15 seconds, stand by for terminal count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, lift off. And you see on your screen, we have had successful liftoff of Falcon 9 carrying Zuma. We have cleared the tower, so we're now coming up on two events that is going supersonic and max-Q. Now, maximum aerodynamic pressure is when we are at the point of maximum stress on the vehicle. From that point on, we're going through thinner and thinner atmosphere, so stress will continually decrease. And we've just passed max Q. So again, that means that as we ascend higher and higher, the atmosphere is thinner and we do not need to have as much stress on the vehicle. Now, we're gonna go through four events here in rapid succession, and those are in order, MECO, stage separation, SES-1, and the boost back burn. Now, MECO stands for main engine cutoff. That's when the first stage stops firing. There follows stage separation when first and second stage depart from each other. SES-1 is the third event. That stands for second engine start. That's when second stage begins firing. And then the fourth event in that sequence is the boost back burn. That's when first stage begins firing again to start its trajectory back to landing zone one. Now that sequence will occur at about 15 seconds in duration, starting about 15 seconds from now. Oh, so this is RC on countdown, please. The relinquish control of the camera, please. Roger. States have confirmed. Stage one is iron its foot. Now we've had successful confirmation of, again, MECO, stage separation, second engine start, and the boost back burn. Now, next major milestone is fairing separation. That should occur any second now. We're not going to show video, co video coverage of it, but we will confirm that the fairings have separated, meaning that Zuma and second stage are the only vehicles continuing on to their final orbit. Stage one, boost back shutdown.
All right, so we'll address the fairing deployment here in a second once we have more information. But for now, we're going to shift our transition back to the focus on the secondary mission, which is the landing and recovery of the first stage. Now, it is nighttime, so we're looking at a black screen, but we should be able to see some burning of the, the second and third burns here in the landing sequence. Um, quick sidebar, we did get successful confirmation that the fairings did deploy. So the primary mission has concluded up to this point successfully, and now Zuma and second stage are continuing continuing on to their final orbit. So we will focus back to the secondary mission now, which is this three burn phase of the landing of the first stage. Now we already saw the boost back burn and got confirmation of that. The two remaining burns are the re-entry burn and the landing burn. Now the second is the re-entry burn, and that is solely intended to decelerate the vehicle so that we go through the atmosphere subject to as little stress as possible. As I mentioned earlier, heat and pressure can accumulate. That thermal stress is very severe. As you go through the denser and denser atmosphere, you want to be going as slowly as possible. So we perform a re-entry burn just prior and during re-entry so that we have as little stress as possible on the vehicle. Now that will happen at about T plus six minutes and 17 seconds, and that re-entry burn will last for about 15 seconds. We'll tune into that. Stage one entry burn has started. And stage one entry burn shut down. And as you just heard and saw, we had successful startup and shutdown of the re-entry burn, the second of three burns in the phase to get back to landing zone one. Now the third and final one, as it is self-named, is the landing burn. This one lasts a little bit longer. It's about 17 seconds in duration. It's coming up in about 30 seconds. Stage we should one get ATS pretty ATS good. We should get pretty good footage of it coming down from the top of the screen. And again, that's a 17 second burn. So the legs deploy and we touch down on the surface of landing zone one here in this attempt. Stage one is transonic. Stage one landing burn has started. Thank you. 